If you've ever known someone that was a really good person, and yet no matter what they did, they never got the results they wanted in life, it's actually a really sad scenario. They followed all the rules, they did what their parents said, they played by all the things you're supposed to do in society, and yet, for lack of a better word, they ended up losing. Now in this video, I wanna share what I think are two or three reasons why even good people fail at life. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book, Master the Day. Now, the very first reason that I think even good people fail at life is because they don't have what Andrew Carnegie called a definite major purpose. In other words, they don't set goals. You know, when I had my first really professional desk job, it was essentially the same thing every day and there was nothing wrong with it. But it's like when you wake up and every day is, get up at seven, you prep for an hour, you commute, you go to work, nine to five, you commute back, maybe you go to the gym, maybe you hang out, maybe you're with friends, maybe you watch Netflix. It really, really quickly falls into routine. And at some point, everyone falls into routine, especially when you're working a nine to five job. It's just the daily process of life. But the thing is, for most people, when they get into that routine, they take the easy route. And the easy route is usually coming home, watching TV, hanging out on YouTube, playing video games, or just getting drinks every night with friends. Again, there's nothing wrong with that, but what it doesn't guarantee is a life of growth. How many people actually sit down every day and they're like, you know what, even if it's not building an empire, they're just like, these are my goals. And then they put that on a piece of paper, they write down what they want to have happen in their lives, and then every day they just look at it. Like that by itself is so basic, and very few people, I'd wager less than 5%, or maybe less than 1% of the world, actually does something that simple. So you can be a good person, but you're stuck in the routine and the grind of day-to-day -day life, and you're not consciously thinking about what is, the, what is the active growth goal that I'm going towards. Now, the second reason that I think even good people fail to reach their goals in life is because they listen to fear, and they make their decision based on that fear, not the excitement or the passion or the love or the cool stuff, the dream that they wanna create. You know, 10 years ago, I already knew that I was passionate about integrative medicine and learning about medicine and herbs and meditation and mysticism. But you know what? When I talked to the people I respected and admired, my, my mentors, advisors were my family. And my parents and my grandparents were like, you know, integrative medicine, like naturopathic medicine, Chinese medicine, is there any money in that? Like, and they, they meant well, right? They wanna see their kids succeed and be able to provide for themselves. But the thing is, I did not decide to do what I love the most until 10 years later. I'm 31 now, halfway through my doctorate, because I caved to the fear and not the excitement and the love. And there are plenty of people doing great in my field. But you see the same thing in terms of travel and marriage and all the way that people live their lives. I mean, look at the number of people that get married because they're like, well, I'm 30 and I'm a female. Like, I guess I'm not gonna find any other guys that are as good as this dude, even though he's not really that great or he's not really what I want. And then they settle because they're like, the clock is ticking, I gotta do this. That's a major decision made by fear. And people do the same thing with travel. There are those amazing, adventurous, far off places they wanna go for the cool adventures, the best stories of anyone they know. But what do we choose? We choose the safe places like Europe, we go to Southeast Asia, we go to the places that are easy not the ones that are gonna create the best life stories and are the most exciting. And I think so many people get caught up in caved, getting caved and beaten by that fear rather than this is the exciting, amazing life, I'm gonna do it no matter what. Now the third reason that I think good people don't live a great life is because they don't commit. Now the difference between being interested in something and committing is that a person who's committed, like in a marriage or a long-term business deal or towards a goal, they will do whatever it takes, as long as it takes. You know, sometimes I wonder if there's actually anything special about what I've done compared to other friends who started at the same time and now don't have anything or don't have any business or any kind of audience. Besides the fact that I committed and I told myself I promised I would do whatever it took as long as it took to be able to earn my freedom doing work that I really cared about. And it was a really difficult process, but I think People think that after three weeks they're gonna have their dream body. They don't commit until 
they get there, as one personal development speaker said. People say that they want to go to Paris so much, but they only can save 10 bucks a month. And so they're like, well, screw it. It's not worth it. It's never going to happen. Rather than, I'm going to commit until I have the $3,000 to go on this Paris trip. Or the same thing in relationships. People, like, they, they're so easy to give up rather than work through the thing, figure it out, and commit until whatever it is they want. It's one of those things where if you have not been committed to a goal for an extended period of time, you may not know that you're giving up way too soon. So if instead you said, this is what I want, the body to write a book, the business, the marriage, the relationship, the travels, and instead of thinking, I'm going to give it my best and do three weeks or three months or three years, commit, which means you're going to do it until it happens. That's a scarier thing. It takes longer. And I think if you factor in, here's your goal, you're going to commit, you're going to do whatever it takes as long as it takes, then chances are you're eventually going to get there no matter what. And you're not going to be like the 95% of people that give up on their dreams so soon. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. Those are some thoughts on why I think even good people fail at life. Now, before you go, I want you to leave a comment there below. Let me know what you would add to this list. Do you know someone who's a legitimately good person, but their life is just not that good and you're kind of wondering why? Comment there below. All right, guys, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free personal development and weight loss challenge at modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. And you can check out my last two videos right here and right here.